Hi, I'm Troy Siahan with Smart Cycle Shopper, and in front of me today is the 2010 Can Am Spider RT. This particular version, the RT, has all the touring amendments, has the saddlebags in the rear, top case, uh, the front trunk, all the passenger accoutrement over here. The engine is a thousand cc Rotax V-twin. It also has six gears, only five of them are forward gears, and then the sixth gear is a reverse gear that's operated mechanically. So suspension on this is similar to an automotive setup with wishbone suspension, um, du dual A-arms on each side. I mean, you've got car-like tires that are square, disc brakes, power-assisted steering. Uh, it's very, very car-like. You've even got ABS. Safety was a number one concern when designing this. The amount of electronics to control wheel hop, anti-lock brakes, traction control is pretty high. With a spider, when you want to brake, just like in a car, you use your right foot and you press down on the pedal. Um, for motorcycle riders, it takes a lot of adjustments to get used to having no uh, front brake right here, but it's uh, over time, you adjust. This particular Spider comes with the full stereo system. Got speakers in the front, speakers in the rear for your passenger. There's even a hookup in the back here for an iPod. And there's uh, buttons here for your passenger to adjust the radio. There are the top case, the side cases. So this is the view from the cockpit here. Well, first up here is a spot for a Garmin GPS. On the left handlebar, you've got obviously your clutch lever, which works the same as a motorcycle. This R button is for reverse, and this is for the electric windscreen that goes up and down. And the mode button toggles through the radio and your trip meter and different settings in the uh, display in the front. Down here, you have your buttons for the fog lights, suspension settings, heated grips, and parking brake on this top button and a trunk release for the top trunk in the front. There's also cruise control. And to uh, start it, obviously you turn the key, but there's an odd procedure you have to do first. What you do is there's this screen here that says before operating, read the safety card above, then press the mode button. Here's the safety card. It pops out, it just tells you this is not like a typical motorcycle. Now you don't have to pop it out every time you start the bike, but you do have to press this mode button before you can start it. And that's basically your controls in the front. So you might be wondering, what's this thing like to ride? It's a very distinct riding experience because you kind of feel like you're on a snowmobile on wheels. You know, when you're just cruising down the highway, it's really comfortable. Uh, the seat is really plush. The positions of the bars and the pegs is really comfortable, really neutral. You're not in a sporty position. You're not leaning back like a cruiser, but it's pretty demanding physically. Uh, at speed, even with the power assist, you really have to muscle it to get it to turn the way you want it to go. Slight bumps or slight imperfections in the road really cause it to veer one way or another. It's not dangerous, but it's just something to pay attention to. The annoying bit to me is when I was kind of pushing it in the, even moderately in the uh, twisty bits, the electronics kind of kick in too soon and too hard from, for my taste. With the Spider, you've got a whole new experience to the touring variety that really is different than anything else you've probably done before. If touring is your main aspect and you want to try something different, you may want to uh, give a second look at the Spider. Oh,